Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with a recap of my week one picks, and then I'm also going to give you my week two picks. <laughs> Which, after my week one performance, you probably are not anxious to get. Anyway, yes. In week one, I went eight and eight. So, you know, basically, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of primates that could go eight and eight, looking at a list of teams and picking one. So, um, yeah, it was a bad week. Um, I, you know. I picked my Bears to lose to the Lions, and I was right in that game for about 55 minutes. But uh, they came back and they won it. So, um, you know, it, it, you got you got the breaks there, and then uh, of course there were some other some other notable. I guess you would say that there were some upsets. So anyway. Um, we will start with the first game, and as I do these games, I will recap what the teams um, involved did in week one. So, the first one you got is the Thursday night matchup, which is going to be the Bengals at the Browns. And who am I going to take here? Well, you know what? I'm going with the Bengals. Yeah, yeah, I know. They lost to the Chargers in week one. But <laughs> these guys, they did terribly. So, yeah, the Browns just got destroyed by the um, uh, by, by the uh, Baltimore Ravens, I think. Trying to find it. Um, but, I mean, it was a, it was a bad score. No, 38. It was 38 to 6 that the uh, that the Ravens beat the Browns, and um, the uh, you know Joe Burrow actually had a pretty good game, and there was a pass interference call in the end zone on one of his touchdown passes, an offensive pass interference call in the end zone on one of his touch potential touchdown passes. So that might have been. Um, you know, that could have been a decider there and, uh, and won it for the Bengals. So I'm thinking that the Bengals still, and they only gave up 16 points to the Chargers. And like I said, the Browns got blown out and, uh, you know, Mayfield was 21 of 39 passing with a touchdown and a pick, but, um, you know, they just didn't. Otherwise, they didn't otherwise do well. Now, I know in general the Browns have some more offensive weapons, really, than the Bengals do. But I'm going to say the Bengals are going to have a better defense and they're going to play better. Especially in that particular game. So, uh, yeah, take the Bengals in that one. So now the next one we've got is the... Um, the Rams at the Eagles... And, you know, in this one, after watching last week's games, I'm going with the Rams. And I know that's not the updated Rams helmet, but, you know, you got to cut me some slack. But the Eagles? <laughs> no, these guys go in the garbage can. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the Eagles were terrible against the uh, Washington Football Club. And uh, they got out to a 17 nothing lead, as a matter of fact, and then they blew it. And Wentz did not look good in the second half. And it was just, uh, it was ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm, I would play like that, they won't beat the Rams. They wouldn't beat anybody. So, the next game we got, yes, here it is. Again, you have my, uh, my favorite team, the Bears, going up against the Giants. And you know what? In this one... Yeah, I'm picking against the Bears two weeks in a row. I'm going to say go with the Giants in this one. 
And the reason, I'm not going to throw them away. I will just put them off to the side. <laughs> but the reason that I say um, that I think the Bears will lose is because, well, first of all, they had to come from behind to beat the Lions. That's never really something you want on your resume. And they also, um, I mean, Trubisky played well, but I've, uh, you know, I'm kind of like the show me type of guy. You got to show me a few times that you can, that that's the real you and that the last year you isn't the one that's going to show up against the Giants. Plus, I might start a trend here where I will pick against the Bears and they win and then I just will keep going with that and then they'll be undefeated because I will not pick the Bears to win especially if they lose this week or if they especially if they win this week I will not pick the Bears to win probably the rest of the season until they actually do lose when I pick them to lose so um, yeah, let me know how, what you think of that strategy. Of course, it has nothing to do with, you know, the price of rice in China, but it's just, you know, something I might try. But I think in general, I mean, the Giants played a pretty good game against the Steelers. They had, uh, they were driving on the Steelers, in fact, um, at, at the opening of the second half. And had Daniel Jones not thrown an ill-advised um, interception in the end zone, that would have been a very close game. But as it was, they only lost by 10 to the Steelers, who have a ton of weapons. And let's just say that the Bears don't have a ton of weapons. So the next game we've got on the docket is the um, Falcons at the Cowboys. Now, um, I am going to go with the Cowboys again. Here, I know that the Cowboys keep kicking me up in my butt. But, you know, and Atlanta looked like, at least for a little while, they looked like they were um, challenging the, the Seattle Seahawks last week. But they did end up losing to the Seahawks in the final tabulation. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I know I'm just, I'm asking for trouble picking Dallas. Because I even said in my preseason um, prognostications that I thought Dallas would finish third in the East and with a 7-9 and nine record. Now, of course, they might move up to second because the Eagles looked even worse. But we'll have to see what happens there. But I, for right now, I'm going to say, yeah, I'll go with the Cowboys. I'll give them one more shot. Then we'll see. Because they have two key injuries also on their defense. So we'll have to see how that impacts them. But I still think maybe they can beat the Falcons. So now you've got the Panthers at the Buccaneers. And yes, you saw last week that um, Tom Brady is definitely human. But I'm still going to go with the Buccaneers here to beat the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. Get the Panthers out of here. Um... Not gonna, I don't think they're gonna beat the Panthers. I mean, I don't think they're gonna lose to the Panthers. There's no way. Now, they did lose to the Saints, and I picked the Saints to actually win that division, and I picked the Saints to win that game, and they did. Um, and Brady had a couple of ill advised interceptions. Again, he's thrown to a specific spot, and if you're not there, you're not there. Which Bruce Arians said, no, that's not how it's supposed to work, and really, it's not. So, um, yeah. So, we'll go with the Buccaneers, even though Brady had a pretty bad first game for him. The next one we got is the 49ers against the New York Jets. Now, the 49ers had a pretty bad game for the 49ers, but the Jets are just a pretty bad team. So we're going to go with the 49ers. I'm picking the 49ers to beat the Jets. The Jets are in complete disarray. I've got, you know, a friend of mine that I went to college with. He's a diehard Jets fan. He says that Adam Gase is the stupidest coach he's seen in his life. All right, he didn't quite say that. But he does say that Gase has no idea what he's doing. And some guys even on ESPN like Mike Greenberg have said that about him too. 
So, um, yeah, the Jets are just, they're a mess. They're a complete mess. So even as bad as San Francisco looked um, last week in their loss, I'm still going to go with the 49ers there. So the next one we have is we have the um, Broncos at the Steelers. Now, in this one, I know that I, um, I well, I, I know I picked the Broncos to win in the opening week, and they did not do that. And so, I'm going to go with the Steelers in this one. I'm not really 100% confident in that pick, but... Um, the Steelers did have a lot of offensive weapons, and now they have a game's worth of real competition under their belt. Some real film they can look at to see what mistakes they made, and Tomlin will definitely point out their mistakes to them. So, I think that they're going to beat the Broncos. Um, I mean, the Broncos had a really good shot to beat the Titans. They were at home. It was the opening game. Nobody had actually even really played each other. Um, and they lost, and so, and they've got some key injuries, like um, Von Miller is out for the year, I think. So, yeah, uh, I mean, the Broncos, they have some issues that they got to fight through. Even though they do have a good young team, I believe, I don't think they're going to beat the Steelers. So the next one we have is the, um, let's see, where are we on this list? We are down to the... Jags at the Titans. And uh, you know what I'm going to go with here? I am going to say I'm going with the Titans. Yeah. Because the Jaguars are another team. They put up, you know, <laughs> again, garbage can for the Jags. Um, they put up a, <clears throat> a good fight uh, last week. But they didn't win. And uh, they, uh, in fact, they lost 27 to 20 to the, uh, or no, they, they actually won. The Jags won last week. They beat the Colts 27 to 20. So, um, but still, I don't think they're going to beat the Titans. The Titans now have a game under their belt. They went on the road and beat a good uh, young Broncos team. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say no on that. It's a no for me on the uh, Jags winning that game. I think it's going to be definitely the Titans. So now we've got um, we've got uh, the Green Bay Packers game. And where are they? Yes, the Lions. We have the Lions at the Packers. Now, if you watched football last week, and if you know anything about football, I know a little bit. You got to go with the Packers because the Packers just absolutely put on a clinic and dismantled the Vikings. And then these guys let a solid lead get away from the Bears. So I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that the Packers can do that again. Now, the Packers defense did allow 35 points to the Vikings, which is... Probably not good, but they did beat them 48-35, so I'm still going to go in that direction with that. So, now we have, we are up to the, um, we're up to the Bills at the Dolphins. And, uh, yeah, I think there's no doubt here you got to go with the, uh, with the Bills I think the Bills have pretty much arrived. They're now a good, solid, young team. And uh, the Dolphins? No. The Dolphins are still a young team that's uh, trying to build towards something, and that something is not going to be beating the Bills. So uh, the next one we got is the Vikings at the Colts. And um, I'm going to say that we are going to, in this one, go with the Vikings. Yeah. Because the Colts, I thought the Colts really could beat the Jags. 
I mean, I thought they could at least handle that much, but they couldn't. And uh, the Vikings, well, the Vikings did drop a 35 spot on the uh, Packer defense. So we're going to have to see how that turns out. But I would go with the Vikings in that one. Now, the next one you got, and it's an interesting matchup, is you have... Um, the Washington Football Club at Arizona. Now, I am in this one, I'm going to go with Arizona because Arizona looked really good last week in beating the defending NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers. But, don't sleep on that Washington team. That Washington team has a really good defense. They allowed 17 points all game. And the 17 points were all allowed in the first half, and then they shut the Eagles out in the second half. So, yeah, don't sleep on them. Next game you got is the um, Ravens at the Texans. Now, in this one, I am inclined to say, yeah, we're going to go with the Ravens, even though the Texans did give Kansas City a good game in Week 1. I still don't see them beating the Ravens. The Ravens were just a, an absolute offensive machine. Um, as I said, they beat the Browns 38-6. So, um, yeah, that's where we're going there. Uh, the next one is the uh, Chiefs at the Chargers. And, you know, the Chiefs are 1-0, they won convincingly the very first game of the year against the Titans, or uh, the Texans, excuse me. And yeah, I'm going to go with Kansas City there, and we're going to get the Chargers out of here. There's no way. So yeah, go with the Chiefs on that one. Anybody not believe me? Bueller? Anyone? Bueller? So now the next one that we've got, and this is the last game on Sunday. I wanted to also point out that the Bengals and the Browns are the Thursday night game, in case I didn't happen to mention that at the time. Um, so now you've got um, the Patriots at Seattle. Now the Patriots did look good, and Cam Newton looked good, and the Patriots have designed an offense specifically for the Newton man, but I'm still going to go with the Seahawks. The Seahawks look like the possibly new dominant team of the NFC. And I am going to say that since the game is in Seattle, even though the 12th man will not be allowed into the stadium, none of the 12th men will be allowed into the stadium. I'm still going to go with Seattle on that one. And that brings us to the Monday night game. Now, the Monday night game is the Saints at the Raiders. And although the Saints made their share of mistakes and could possibly have lost to the Buccaneers, even though they did not, they did beat the Buccaneers, I'm still going with the Saints. There's no way I'm picking Drew Brees, I'm picking against Drew Brees, against these guys. No. Not happening. So, those are my picks. Hopefully I do better than 8-8. Eight and eight. In fact, I really need like a 12 or 13 win week to... Um, you know, compensate for the 8-8. Eight and eight. But um, we'll see. Maybe I can slowly make it up over time. But yeah, that 8-8 eight and eight was a terrible start to the season. What do you guys think? Leave a, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what your picks would be. What, uh, what games you disagree with me on. Um, did you like my analysis? I tried to go a little bit more in depth on some of the analysis this time. Um, but it is what it is, and even when you pick a superior team to beat an inferior team, that doesn't always happen. And you can have all the stats in the world that will tell you that it should have happened, but it doesn't. So anyway, that's it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.